So this is not your regular club, guys. <laughs> I'm at the Toronto Metro Convention Center. I've been hired by the Ontario Chiropractic Association. They do theme galas every year. And this year, they decided to do disco. Businesses are becoming more open and inclusive and wanting to try new things. It's the power of change. It's the power of education. Years ago, I, I didn't see this happening. I like to bridge the gap between the straight world and gay world. I like to put together. Sometimes I feel like the clothes I perform at, like, people treat it like a zoo, like they're just going to the zoo. Oh, I'm gonna see the zebra today. No, it's nothing like that. I want them to love me. I want them to follow me. I want them to love drag. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one. The focus, two, I didn't felt their minds. Yeah, but that's what I know. <laughs> I felt their minds like this. But that's what I knew. Yes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can, uh... They've seen how other people see drag. They thought drag queens <laughs> whore around, sleep <laughs> around, okay. do drugs, party all the time. And I didn't, I didn't want to be associated with that. I was very nervous to do it because it's like, I'm a young boy, I was 24. Like I just came out to my parents. That didn't go smoothly. It went well, but not smoothly as it, I wanted it to. And then all of a sudden I'm doing drag now. I'm like, oh God, I can't tell my parents. My mother, um, she's the first one that did my makeup. She didn't not want me to be gay, but she was like, are you sure? She, she was very, she's a very smart woman. She's on TV, like, looking at the news and seeing gay bashing. So when she asks, are you sure? She's like, she's more like, these things are happening to these people, and you're going out downtown, like, all the time, like, late. It's more of a loving thing. When I came out, it basically was like, hey, I have a drag show, you want to come? She's like, first. <laughs> she didn't even, she's like, oh, really? When's your show? <laughs> like, so quick. My mom's like, I love you for you. Be you. Do what you want to do. I express myself when I'm child in all the time. But I know me, there's a different door open to me and I fell in love with it very quickly. I danced for Deborah Cox, I danced for Sister Sledge, Nelly Furtado. It's a different feeling backup dancing for an artist than being the artist. Okay. 
And it's not just dancing, it's like you're performing. Words, costuming, there's steps, there's steps. <laughs> like formations, up, down, where is this person, this hat? It's hard, it's really hard. I never got into drag because I had a low self-esteem. Just fell in love with the, the attention. I love the attention, the love I was getting from people and the support of the community. I think drag has evolved so much. Drag is more than just putting on a dress and then getting on stage. When I was growing up and coming to drag shows, I used to see like legendary Michelle Ross and she used to sit down and talk to me and tell me what she used to do. And I just, I was like, oh my God, you're an entertainer. Like they used to do like lacage and like um, impersonations. So I really feel like that's a true art.